So you're back from your hunt and you have your beautiful quail. What do you do now? Now you have to clean them. It's really important to clean your quail as fast as you can. And it's really easy. I'm going to show you how. First, we're going to start by using kitchen shears and we're going to go in and snip the wings off. They come off really easily. And we're going to do the other one. Pretty easy. Now, we're going to remove the head, this, but we want to remove it as far up as possible. This is going to help us on skinning. So I'm just going to go ahead and make one little cut. It's a really, sometimes you just got to get through the feathers. Now, so quail have really thin skin, which means it's really easy to break open. So you don't need a knife or anything. Plus, you wouldn't want the knife touching the tender meat. So all I'm going to do now is basically separate some of the feathers and now you can see the skin. So now basically what I'm going to take my thumbs and I'm going to tear it, rip it basically and it comes right apart. That's how thin the skin is on quail. Now quail come off really easily. Now I'm going through the backbone and I'm reaching my two fingers together so that I can pull off the whole skin. You see how I did that? So now I can just take the skin and basically pull it off feathers and all. You don't really want to pluck a quail because the skin is so, so thin that you're never going to be able to save the skin. Uh, so that's why we just take it off in one spot. I like to have a bucket of water here just so that I can remove any feathers as I go, as I'm cleaning. But here we did a pretty good job at getting it all the feathers off at one time. This is just micro cleaning. Now we got the tail. That's the last thing that's going to come off. We're going to make one snippet here, super easy. And now we have our nice clean quail. But what do you do now? As a chef, I like to keep my quail as whole as possible. Why? Because it gives me more options in the kitchen. I want to be able to roast my, whole, my quail whole, or I want to take off the legs, or I just want to use the breast. But if I, if I butcher it on site, I don't have the, those options are very limited as to leaving it whole. So now what I'm going to do, basically I'm going to take the entrails out and I'm going to take the backbone out. So our quail is going to be butterflied essentially. And it's really easy. I'm going to make two cuts with my sh shears along the backbone of the quail, just like this. And then I'm going to cut the other side, super easy. Make a few snippets from the entrails. And now I can easily remove the insides that not, up, not everybody likes to see. So those are all done. Now we have a nice clean quail inside. And I also have lots of cooking options to do at home because everything is still attached, which is great. That's why I recommend leaving them whole. But the last step before we end, I'm just going to remove the feet because we don't want them. We don't really need them. They're not really good for stocks or anything like that. But I left most of the bones, the breastbone and everything in. So be sure when you're cooking, if you remove the breast, be sure to save those bones for stock. Making quail stock for something like risotto is always wonderful. Um, I like to do that. Now I'm just going to finish by dunking my cute new little quail in fresh water and clean off all of the little I call them micro feathers that these quail have. And then we have our quail. You can also see any shot. If there was some shot in the quail, they're pretty easy to find. And I don't have them on me, but you can use fish tweezers to pull any shot off. Or you can use the fish tweezers to pluck off any feathers that remain there that somehow got stuck. But since my legs are already coming off, I'm just going to remove these legs as well. And now I have a beautiful quail. And I like to store them right away in a Ziploc bag. When I get home, I do like to vacuum seal my quail so that they don't have any um, oxygen or air getting to them. So I will do that once I get home so I can freeze them properly and they don't get freezer burned. But for right now, the Ziploc bag is your best friend. And then they're going to go into the cooler with full of ice. My cooler is already chilled. That's highly important because you want to bring the temperature of your quail down as fast as you can. That helps preserve the meat. And that, my friends, is how you clean a quail.